Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to uh, evaluate integrals with bounds. And what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to change the x bounds or the bounds that were assigned to the x values into u bounds, okay? So first thing we do is we remember from the first fundamental theorem of calculus is that when you're integrating from one to two, okay, bottom to top, the integral of two x, you get two x squared over two, and that gives you x squared. You end up plugging in the numerator and the denominator here, and you get 2 squared is 4. That's here, minus 1, so that gives you 3. We all know that from the previous videos. Now, let's take a look here, okay? So I have this here, and this is a product, and this is my u because it's x to the third. It's a base raised to a power other than 1, so I made this into x to the third plus 1. I found the derivative with respect to x, and I got 3x squared. And then I just cross multiplied and I solved for dx, okay? This is 3x squared. This is u squared. This is du over 3x. So this crosses off. You're left with u squared. So now we're going to just integrate. So we get u to the third over 3. What you notice here is I never put any bounds here. That's because I don't know the bounds. These bounds belong to x's. So I can't just put a 1 and a 0 there since I'm changing everything to you. So... <clears throat> I'm just gonna now turn this back into x. So u is x to the third plus one, okay? Raised to the third power, and I'm gonna plug in a one. So I pulled out the one third, okay? And then I plugged in the one. Two to the third is one, plus one is two, raised to the third power, and then plug in your zero. One to the third. Now we're gonna subtract it. That's eight, minus one is seven, so that's seven times a third gives you seven thirds. I have the same exact problem, but what I'm gonna do with this problem is I'm just gonna change everything to u's, okay? I'm gonna, I did the same exact steps, found a u, found my du dx, I swapped everything, I'm gonna cancel these out, I get to this part here, and now what are my bounds? Well. Since these belong to x's, I'm going to write down x equals 1 and x equals 0. I'm going to just plug in, because I want them to now be u's, I'm going to plug it in here. So 1 to the third is 1, plus 1 is 2. So therefore, this is 2. Plug in your 0, 0 to the third plus 1 is 1. So that's 2, and that's 1. That's 2, and that's 1. Let's plug 2 back here. 2 to the third is 8 over 3 minus 1 over 3. That's 7 thirds. That's the same. Uh-oh. What just happened? That's the same exact answer. Okay? So let's try now. Same exact thing. You can go through this entire process and say that's a product. U is going to be the exponent. Okay? I'm going to take the derivative of u and get 3x squared. I'm going to solve for dx. You can always pause the video and watch every step, okay? So this is going to be step 1, step 2, step 3. I'm going to go back to my problem. 2x stays e to the u. D. I'm going to cross off my... This should say squared, guys. My apologies. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So these should say squares. So that's going to cross off. You're left with 2 thirds e to the u. And what you do is, again, this and this belong to x's. So you would be plugging in the 2 and plugging into the negative 1 after you replace this. Doing the same exact problem, what would be our new bounds? Well, all you have to do is plug 2 into here. So that's going to be 8. And plug in negative 1 into here. So that's going to be negative 1. And then you just do the same exact thing. Let's try this one. I don't care about the answer. I know that this is going to be a u sub. This differs exactly by 1. It's raised to a power other than 1. If u, u equals x squared plus 1, then when you plug in 5, you get 26. And when you plug in 0, you get 1. Therefore, your new bounds will be 1 and 26, and then you would have to convert all of this to u. Okay? This is going to be your u. 
and you're going to plug in pi. So 2 pi squared over pi plus 1. So this would be just 2 pi plus 1 as your upper bound. And your lower bound would be 2 pi squared over 4 times pi plus 1. And so your lower bound would also be, you can call this like u2, u1, and then that's going to be pi over 2 plus 1, okay? So that's pretty much how you do that. And finally, I'm going to end with this problem here. Anytime you have a x to the first power in the denominator and no exits, it's going to be a natural log. So we're going to make u equal to 7x minus 1 because you're not allowed to have a quotient. When you go through this entire process of doing a u sub, you're going to get 1 over u du over 7. 1 seventh, 1 over u du. That's going to be 1 over 7 natural log of u plus c, right? But I'm going to take away the plus c because I have bounds. So what would my bounds be? Well, I'm going to plug in 1 into the u. 7 times 1 minus 1, 6. I'm going to plug in 0, and that's a negative 1. You have to put absolute values around here because natural log cannot hold a negative. Okay? So I made this problem up. Sorry about that. Um, and so, so I'm going to just put a positive 1 because natural log cannot be negative, so you've got to take the absolute value of it. And so that's how you find your bounds, okay? So come back for the next video.